dun 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 hot dog dun 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 this ain't no web dun 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 hot dog hot dog hot diggity dog now if you seen my last video y'all heard cj so cool answer some questions for a q a and he pretty much said he don't miss royalty he don't miss nation he don't miss none of them he's moved on with his life and all of that right so he responds to a comment a comment say i don't even know how people look at him the same way after how he did his family he said he looks up to lebron lebron don't cheat and treat the woman he came up with like trash and he sure does not talk mess about kids this is CJ's response. He's pretty much saying he's tired of people running with that narrative. The reality of the situation is we fell out of love the first time we broke up, but somehow I managed to get the family back together for content. And after that second attempt, we all realized that we were only doing it for the fans and we had already fell out of love. Hmm. I don't know what kind of world you guys live in, but just because something looks good on paper does not mean it's good in reality. Okay, breaking up had nothing to do with anyone being a cheater. So they fell out of love the first time they broke up, but they, y'all stayed together for years after because they had a brand, they had, was this before or after the twins? Not sure, but that's his answer. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Just goes to show, don't stay with somebody for content. Don't stay with somebody just because you got kids with them. Don't stay with somebody if you guys are not willing to put that work in to have a healthy relationship. Next up, Misty and Key, they broke up. They both are emotional. I feel like she'll come back though. I hope so. But I don't want to pressure her and keep trying to press her to change her mind or anything. So I'm just going to try to give her space and let her figure it out. And whenever she, if she come around, she come around. But everything's not gonna always be perfect you know you choose to get back together and i'm gonna tell y'all that too like if y'all mess with somebody everything's not gonna always be perfect like life is not perfect everything's not gonna be perfect but you try and you try and you try and you try and try to get trying and i don't think i'm done trying so i really like i really do hope that this is just temporary because that's my girl. That's my heart. Like my best friend. Yeah, we would do stuff like sit up at nighttime and like play Call of Duty, mobile next to each other, listen to music with the lights off, like stuff like that. Like, I feel like she'll come back though. I'll so Key says she feel like she gonna come back. What do you guys think? Is Missy gonna come back? I love that she is willing to wait for her. Relationships are not perfect. Y'all gonna have breakups, fallouts, blank moments. The key is to never give up, keep in contact, and rebuild. Come back stronger than the beginning. I love how key communicate when it comes to Misty. Okay, this is a TikTok that Misty made. She titled it, Good Morning, Friendly Reminder, Everything Comes to an End. Even ourselves, don't get too comfortable with the nothing or nobody. And I think the next slide is more of key on live. Feel me? I do stuff that she don't like and vice versa, but... It's just she a little bit more strong with the stuff that she don't like that I do. I know she don't want from me though, and I really hope that she come back because that's really all I want for her. Hey, I don't know. What, I don't know what we are. I don't know if we're done. I hope not. A month or a year. But I'll be waiting on her. And the thing is, like, I don't care who she, like, probably, like, end up with if we do, like, start messing around or I start messing with somebody and she chooses to come back. I'm sorry, I'm dropping their ass because that's my girl. Like, that's my favorite girl. He seemed like she in it for the long haul. Six days ago, don't attach my name to nobody unless it's my son, period. So this is a, I believe this is Missy's. Uh, Instagram story. Misty is the one that came to the internet and like let it be known. Don't attach my name to anyone. So they've been having issues for about publicly a week. Misty did a TBH on live and she mentioned that Nadia kicked her out the compact house. Let's listen. To be honest, Nadia, to be honest, Nadia, you cool or whatever. Um, 
What? Even though you wanted to kick me out the compact house group chat and whatever, and kick me out the house, whatever. Um, you're cool. I always looked at you cool with nothing else, nothing less. I just, it was just that, that, like, okay, like, I don't know, like, I was just like, okay. To be honest, Spencer, um, you're weird. Um, Weird. To be honest, Nadia. To be honest, Mods. I mean, to be Mods was cool to me. Like, but I recently said something to him, and he was like, he just like went off on me. Like, I was like, I was saying it because I was there too, and I said something about telling them girls to go home, and what the heck happened? And I said that because I'm there. Like, now you're playing with my safety at this point, cause. They could have did anything, like, and he just, like, went off on me. And, like, I always, I don't know, just, like, I always was cool with him until, like, that. That's the, like, kind of threw me, but it's just... Who barbecued for uh, the 4th of July? Save me a plate. So the comments are saying, Missy's so blunt because she knows she can fight. That's why I mess with her. Maj commented and said, oh, I'm so sorry, Misty. Nadia thinks she's Beyonce, but I see her and Lil' Leprechaun going on tour with Influencer City. So Compact House flopped. Spencer gotta be weird for real. People keep saying it. Nadia always kicking somebody out. Yeah, and this is the second person that I've seen that she kicked out. That's why I'm like, did they make her like, maybe she's, I mean, I don't know. Like you gotta have leadership skills to be a, to have that power over kicking somebody out the house. Like, oh, good judgment of character. This person is going to be messy. This person is going to mess up the house and cause chaos. So let's get them out of here. You know, yeah. Jessica, the prankster is going on a cruise with her mom. My biological mom is going on a cruise on the 15th. Everyone put W's in the chat. Okay. Everyone put W's in the chat. I can't wait till you guys meet her, okay? Do we look alike? Yes, we do. <laughs> W's in the chat, guys. I'm excited. After everything happened, um, you know, she reached out, and we just, ever since then, we just, no, I'm not nervous. We've been hanging out. Like, I literally just went to her, um, her job today, like, rung her Starbucks and stuff, and we've been hanging out already. Yeah, I just want to let you guys know, like, Thank you. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling... Oh, wait. So she just said that the mom is going on a cruise, but they're not going on the cruise together. Family see your money up and they want to pop up. Clock that tea. Nah, she waited till Mama Red and her was not cool to come around. Not cool and not genuine. Y'all can let me know what y'all think in the comments. So if you saw my last video, you guys know that DDG and Hallie revealed their baby's face yesterday. They posted these beautiful family photos. Now, some of the blog pages reposted these pictures and it was a few people in the comments being negative about the baby. This is what EDG had to say in response to that. I read a few comments and uh, now I know I got the best looking son in the entire world. Like there's no baby out there that's more handsome than my son. And if it is a baby watching this right now and you're a little more handsome than my son, um, or are you not more handsome, but like you neck and neck with them, you know, congratulations to you. You, you are literally the 1%. Um, but I, I seen a few poor, broke, dirty, fat back on uh, Instagram talking about my son. And it just, uh, it just make me so angry and mad. But then I have to realize that my son is richer than him. He has a more successful life. He's in Italy at six months. He's been across the world. He's been around the world already. And he's only been living for six months. And they broke pork and barely eat, probably on welfare still. And they grown, probably living with their mama. Now, if you're a nice person and, and I described your life in any way, I don't mean no harm to you. I'm talking to the people that was talking crazy about my son. And um, I just want to say, like, make sure you keep that on the Internet. Because I can't in real life i don't blame him for going off it's like this is the reason why they hid the pregnancy they hid the baby 
the baby's face for six months because they don't, they probably can't handle a stranger talking negative about their baby. And you know what? I would not be surprised if they go back into hiding the baby because I see DDG posted some more photos and he um, uploaded a YouTube video. But if the negative comments get too outrageous, I got a feeling that they're going to start hiding the baby and blurring his face out again, if that makes sense. Kai Sinet and Mr. Beast officially pranked the internet yesterday on his stream. Davis came in and lit the fireworks. I'm sure y'all seen it. And fireworks went off and it was just this whole crazy big mess. But his day one fans, the people that know what his room looked like, they was looking really hard and they like, wait, hold on. This wall is different from his real wall. Where's the Nicki Minaj chair? This is a fake. This is a replica. This is a, <laughs> this is a replica. Come to find out it was a prank. To get a notification on what really happened. So boom, you guys, it, it worked out exactly how I wanted to like, that shit was the, I think that was my best, that was the best live prank of all time. And me and Mr. Beast have been building a replica version of my room for the last month and a half. You may ask why. Not too long ago when I was Mr. Beast, we always knew we wanted to do a stream together. We're going live on your channel. Yes. But we're in the middle of a field. Yes. We have replicated my room. And we're gonna blow it up in front of and, hundreds and, of thousands. Of and if you don't believe us, come over here. So this little tunnel over here yep. leads into a scale replica of Kai's room. That's his streaming setup over there. No joke. We recreated his room in a field yep. so he could have a firework war and just start launching stuff. And when it inevitably burns down, it'll prank you guys. Yeah. Make sure you guys stay tuned. And if, gotcha. and if this ends up backfiring and being a really bad prank, Kai assumes all responsibility. Huh?